are zero. Yes, uh, exactly. Is, if it is in a class B, mm -hmm. then I mean uh, my first octet like is all all are one, second octet all are one. Then we'll just calculate from third octet. Yeah, because we need to check the default subnet mask. Default subnet mask, there's a two octet to 55. Correct. So no, we, we, just, can't, uh, we, can't. we just go from uh, third, third octet, octet number, yes. a similar uh, class A, right? Yes. If you have class C, the three octet, you should not do any changes. Only the changes from the fourth octet in the case of Four. class C. Okay? Okay. Yeah, okay. then I'm good. Okay, now in this subnet, so, in case of subnet, what we have seen, subnetting, we are calculating the network. So, how many network we want. So, this is especially for the ISP provider, what they'll do is, they wanted to divide the network for region-wise. Uh, they need to specify some IP for one particular place, some, uh, maybe, yeah, from the ISP provider, they'll go with the networking. So, again, uh, let's assume... You have an organization, now you want some certain IP address, uh, the public IP address you required for your organization. Maybe you want 16 IPs or maybe you want uh, uh, 10 IPs or 8 IP address. So how they will provide? Suppose I'll, I'll just take, take a calculation. Right now I'll take an example of a class C network. 182.168.10.0. It's a class C, right? Okay, Omad. Yeah. Yeah, I can say. Okay, in my network, we are using a class C IP. But we want public IP address, for example, eight, ho eight IPs. So eight IP in the sense, I want eight host. We want IP. So how do we calculate here? Uh, there is a, to identify the network, we'll go with subnet. To identify the host, we'll go with VLSM, variable and subnet mask. So here, just again, I'll take a subnet, default subnet mask. You know, default subnet mask is for class C. Right? This is the default subnet mask, right? Yes. Now, how you will calculate the hate host? Again, I'll come back to the 2 to the power. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one twenty eight sixty four thirty two. It is sixteen eight. Then four two one. Now I want eight host. What is the eight host? What is the value? Two to the power three. Right? Three. Now. In the to identify subnet, what we did, Aman, we have added once, right? We have added once after this default subnet mask, right? Okay, we have added once. But here, the host, host always identify the zeros. Network is once, host is zero. So first, we need to write how many how many zeros we required. The three zeros. Three. Three zeros. So zeros will start from always last. Ones will start from the left side. It is zeros from the right side. Then remaining all the ones. I hope I'm not confusing. Ahmad, previously what yeah. we did after the default subnet mask, whatever the two to the power we have, that is we are writing ones. But in the case of identifying the host, first we have to write the number of two to the power. We need to write like a zeros. Then remaining all the ones. Eight ones, eight ones, eight ones. Now calculate. Plus. 255, 255, 255. And what is the value for this? One twenty eight plus sixty four plus one, two, three, four, five. Then thirty two, sixteen. Eight, right? Calculate how much it is. What is the value? And subtract the 256 minus. 
this value? Two forty-eight. Two forty-eight. Then what is the value? <laughs> eight. Eight. Huh? So for the highest eight host to the power of three, if you want to calculate this subnet mass, see this is two forty-eight. But uh, what is the block size? Eight. Eight is the block size. Now, one eighty two, one sixty eight, ten dot zero. This is the first network. What is the next network? One ninety two. Next one will be one. Here, where is the changes in the fourth octet? What is the changes? Eight blocks. Eight blocks. Eight. <laughs> then again, next, eight plus eight, sixteen. Na. See, we don't want like this. We don't want entire network. We want in a one single network, one single uh, the box. We want only eight host. So, what is the last IP? Sixty-eight. Ten dot. Previous, this is a next network is eight. The previous IP is seven. seven. Now, what is the first IP and what is the last IP? It is first IP is one. <laughs> the last IP is six. Yeah. Right. Now, how many IP you will get? Six. Six IP. Now, how many hosts you have? So, only six hosts you can add this IP. Yeah. Right. We want for eight host. Now what we needed only we are getting if you go with this what is happening only for six host we are getting this IP right so what we need to do here we don't want to calculate like a subnet so whenever you have a eight IP always you need to add whenever you are calculating host always you need to add two so totally ten IPs for ten IP what is the calculation so we should not do like this. We'll go with freshly. Ninety two one sixty eight ten dot zero. Same two to the power. Zero one two three four five six seven. So we want eight host. So eight host in the sense nothing but eight IPs to assign to the host. So what should be the calculation? Eight, eight host plus two, totally ten IPs. Now you tell me, which two to the power of which two to the power I need to select? Two to the power four. One twenty eight, sixty four, thirty two, sixteen, eight, four, two, one. Absolutely right. Two to the power of four. Now you tell me quickly uh, the calculation. So two to the power of four. four. <coughs> So how many zeros and how many ones in the subnet mass? Four and four. Okay, four zeros and four ones. So remaining all two fifty fives. Two fifty five dot two fifty five. Two fifty five. Then what about the four one one value? One twenty eight plus sixty plus three. Two. Forty. Forty exactly. And what is the block size? Two fifty six minus two forty sixteen exactly sixteen yes one sixty eight ten dot zero and next network is sixteen ah huh? we don't want next network so I come back the last one one eighty two one sixty eight ten dot zero the last IP is fifteen so this yeah. is a network IP this is a broadcast IP we can't use both this IP address from yeah. one to fourteen is the Usable like IP. Ah, now I'll get a eight IPs for the future use. Stay in case, in case number of hosts is increased, they want still more IP address within this network. We can provide those IP address. Right? This is VLSM variable length subnet mass. Sometimes what happens in the organization, the last number of IP address for the uh, the uh, public IP address. So they'll calculate using VLSM. Clear about this? Yeah. Okay, quickly identify for 32. Uh, okay, I, I have a 30 IP. Identify 30. 
identify for 48 IPs using class C. And also 100 IPs. 30. 48. So 30, we need to select 32. For 48, we need to select 64. Very good. For 100, we need to select. I mean, then for 100 IP, we need to uh, select all 80s for host. Good. Yeah, quickly do the calculation. Tell me this subnet mask. I want this subnet mask. And okay, I want suppose 30, I'm going 30 first, right? 30. So hmm. we'll go for 32, 192.168.10. Okay. You got it, right? Am I confusing? Oh, let me see. Let me see. Yeah. <laughs> This is the same thing as the previous session. The only thing is, previous session we are adding ones. Now we are coming with, we are beginning with zeros. That is the difference. Otherwise, IP or a host to identify, we have to go with zeros. If you want to identify the network, we have to calculate from the ones. Simple. Do the calculation. Give me a minute. I'll be back. I got the answer for this. Okay, so I'm a little bit confused about uh, with uh, creating 100 IP. Can I uh, tell you something like, uh, so the, what will be the subnet mask for uh, this 192 dot should be zero, dot 10? No. 
see that what is the to the power value at uh, to the power below if i create a 100 uh, ip i need to go this until seven this right one. yeah seven so what is how many octet you have in uh, in one octet how many bits you have eight right eight so seven zeros and the last bit will be one right okay that means okay then 192 128 or 10 dot uh uh in this case okay then got it okay then yeah 128 right 128 yes, exactly Absolutely. and dot then should be 127 is a broadcast and this actually create 126 ip Okay, can I tell you like a fast one is uh, broadcast address, I mean, uh, um, yeah, broadcast first one 30 is 192.192.10.31. No. Uh, yeah, broadcast is 31, absolutely right. This is 31, absolutely right. And Sus I need a subnet mask. Uh, subnet mask will be 190 no subnet mask 355 355 355 255 i mean 250 dot 190 no uh, subnet mask calculating like uh okay yeah 192 is it 192 dot zero right so the last octet is for for thirty network. Okay, one eighty two, two fifty six. Two fifty six minus one eighty two. How much you will get? Two fifty six minus one eighty two. Two fifty six minus one eighty two. Okay. Four twenty five six sixty four. This will be sixty four. Then it will be a block size of sixty four, no? You said 31. And this is not the one. I just checked for 32. Uh, 30 IP address. What is it to the power? It is 5, right? 5 zeros and yeah. 3 ones. What is the value for 3 ones? For 3 one value is... 192, 224. So it is a five zeros. I also did a mistake. It's a five zeros and three ones. So this is 128 plus 64 plus? 32. 120, 224. 224. 224. Now you calculate. 256 minus 224. How much you'll get? 60, uh, 256, 32. 32, right? So this is mm -hmm. the block size. Yes, your your subnet mask is 255.255.255.224. This is the subnet mask. If you use the uh, subnet mask, you'll get 32. So okay. you'll get 30 IPs on one network. Fine. Now okay. come back to 48 IPs. What about the subnet mask? Subnet mask will be uh, 255.255. So we need to calculate where is the 48? So 64. If I take a 64, then I'll get 48. For future use, we can use some more IP address. So totally it is 2 to the power of 6. That means 6 zeros. So two ones and six zeros. What is the value for this two ones? One twenty eight so plus sixty four. Two fifty six sixty four. Okay, so can I? I'm I'm a little bit behind this. Can, so can you just explain me how we get the number from the like one two one then six zero? So after that, how we how we get the result? Like for example, the the top one two twenty four, right? Three yes. one. Yeah. Five zeros. This, okay, there's three ones, you know. Where I'm doing a very simple calculation. 
okay that is a lot of they'll do the lot of confusion yeah i'm use, using only two to the power i have a three ones ones always three it will one, start yeah. on left side so this three ones that means this is a value 128 plus 64 32 okay ah, exactly so you will get the value of 220 okay so if you start doing this you know you don't need to do any calculation in the mind mind itself you will do the calculation that is the reason i'm just writing here if you keep on if you practice you will get that so, so right now this two values up net mass calculation is like always 256 minus ah exactly the what is the value you will get 128 uh, plus 64 what is the value the value. 192 so 192 ah uh, 192 so calculate minus, 256 minus 182. Why 256. the 256 is from 0 to 255 IPs. If you calculate 256 IPs we have. In that, subtract. So what is the value? 64, right? 64, yeah. Yes, block size is 64. So IP will start from 0, end with 61. So that totally you will get 60. Oh, sorry, end with 63. 63 so that totally you will get Broadcast. Yes, 63 is the broadcast, 0 is the network. So, you'll get remaining 62 IPs. So, this is the subnet mass. 255.255, 255, and you have to use the subnet mass to achieve uh, 60, uh, 68 IPs. This is the subnet mass you have to use. 48 IPs. 48 or up to 62 IPs. 62 IPs. So, this is the subnet mass. 62, yeah. 62. Uh, now, there is a requirement for 100, right? 100 IPs. Now you tell me, for 100 IPs. So, 255. 128. For 100. 6 minus 128. 128. Oh, So, seven zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven zeros. Values? 128. Uh, uh, 122. 256 two, minus 128. 128. Uh, 128. So, block size is also 128. So, the last IP is 127, right? Including the zero, it is totally 128. The so, subnet mass is? Yes. 255. Right exactly. Exactly. Now, again, I'll tell you one more thing. Instead of writing this subnet mask, there is another way to identify the subnet mask in the easier. So, we have to specify with the slash values. I'll come back here. First example. What is the subnet mask? 240, right? 240. Now, while specifying, you might have seen, right? Okay, Muhammad. They'll say IP address slash some subnet mask, slash 24, slash 16. Have you seen any of this like this? Slash 30, slash 32. Yeah. Have you heard like this? Mm -hmm. So always the subnet mask will specifying will not specify like this. We'll say slash. Now we have to specify the value. What is the subnet mask here? How many ones we have here? It is eight ones, eight ones, right? Yeah. Eight ones again here, eight ones. How many ones we have here? For two forty, four ones, right? Four ones, yeah. Four ones, four. So calculate how many ones we have. Eight plus eight, sixteen plus eight, thirty-two plus four. Thirty-six. Ah, like that. Eight plus eight, sixteen. 16 plus 8, how much? 24, huh? 24. 24. I 24. said some calculation you are agreeing yeah. with. 28, okay. Uh -huh. 32. 24, actually. Uh, 24. <laughs> plus, 24 plus 4, it is how much? 28. 28. What is the subnet mask? If I want to achieve 8 IP address, what is the subnet mask? So you can tell this value. So slash 28, it is a subnet mask to achieve 8 IP so you don't need to write like this. 
sometime while configuring the device, it will ask slash value. If you specify the slash, automatically it will take the subnet mask. You should know this slash value. So very simple, the number of okay, ones. Okay, okay, gotcha. Okay. Now you tell me here what is the subnet mask? Total it is 24, 25, 26, 27. Slash 27. Yes. And what about here? So 26. 26. Very good. And what about here? This is 25. 25. Rightly understood. So very simple. This is what uh, the host identifying and the subnet mask calculation. So this is for class A, class C, and quickly you do for class class B also. I'll take example of 172, 16. See, I'm taking this so much of time because uh, the IP addressing is very, very important to identifying your subnet mask and uh, uh, these are all, it is very important. So that's what I'll take some time. So clearly understand uh, the slash values, uh, the subnet mask, everything. It is very important for the networking. Okay, 0.0. .0. So I want uh, maybe your four IPs. I want maybe your two IPs. Uh, maybe I want your 20 IPs. Quickly, tell me the subnet mask. What is the subnet mask for four IPs okay. or two IP or 20 IPs? Mm, so if you want two IP, one, six, 16, that means two to the power one zero two to the power one two to the power three four three so one 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 okay. one one zero 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 so this is one twenty eight plus sixty four plus thirty two plus sixteen plus uh, sixteen plus okay. So one ninety two dot or sixteen dot zero four point sixteen forty. Forty minus uh, sixteen. Okay, one seventy two dot. Oh, it's a subnet mask, right? Two. Yeah, I want subnet mask. Two fifty five dot. Two fifty five dot two fifty five dot one ninety two. For this four IPs, huh? Oh, mm -hmm. uh, this is two forty dot zero. Am I right? Where it is 240, yeah? 240. Third zero. So, okay. What is the block size? Block size 16. Okay, 16. So, this is 15 dot 255 you are saying, right? 255 dot 255 dot. I mean, for two. Eight. The block size is at 16. The octet is changing in the fourth octet, right? Ahmad? Correct. The changes will happen in the fourth octet. Right? Correct. Okay, now what is happening? Check it out. Your zero, it is zero. It will come to 255. Again, it will change to one, 255. Again, it will go to two, 255. Up to 16, 15, it will go like this. How many IP you want? Only four IPs. But you are giving me like, a, uh, maybe I'm getting 65. Oh, no, no, I, I, I'm sorry. I calculate uh, maybe eight IP. I okay, mean. whatever it is. But you are getting a 65,005. Some uh, 65,000 IPs you are getting here. Oh, no, no, no. This is 250. Oh, no. Then I don't know. Okay. The host, I said, IP, whenever you are doing a calculation from the last. How many zeros you need to write for four IPs? Three. Three, right? Three zeros. And remaining all ones, I said. Right? Mm -hmm. So where is the changes now? Only in the last octet. Not in the third octet. Right, 255, 255, 240. 255, 255. Again, in the third octet, you'll get 255. Then, then 240. 
I have to calculate. Yes. Very simple calculation. If you go, it will take. Uh, Hey, see, actually, um, in uh, in uh, I don't know, in the real environment, even uh, I have a, my current environment has a six sites. Mm. Uh, so they have a six network. Okay. And some of network use like three, four computer, you know, like three, four computer, one printer, or like that's it. See, internally what they'll do, they'll use a private IP address. They'll not do this calculation and all. They'll take a default subnet mask, they'll assign. But whenever they're taking a, from the ISP provider, internet IPs, so they'll ask how many IP address they want. For server, for all the... I mean, these are, we, we just at, uh, um. I don't know. So each individual machine hmm. or they will not assign a public IP. They will not assign individual system. They will not assign public IP. Correct. So public so IP are... just assign only the ISP, right? Yes, ISP. Now some uh, companies, what they'll do, they'll take a bulk of IP. So to assign for the uh, server, they'll assign separate IP address for all the uh, the uh, clients. Yeah, I mean, minimum they take five. Ah, five. So if you want five IP address, I want to create one network for you, right? So five IPs, I'll go with the slash uh, 28, 27 for you. So like that, they'll give the subnet mask. That is only for your network. See, these are all, it is especially when it comes to the routing configuration and all, they'll go with the peer IPs and all. So there we will use this. And again, uh, as per your, you said, right, the network. So different, we have a five networks. So how many IP are using? They'll divide like this. They'll provide you the IP. Oh, okay. So you okay. should not use entirely the subnets. Unnecessarily are going to waste so many IPs. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So in a class C, suppose if you cannot, uh, there cannot be a question like this. Okay, create a 200, uh, um, uh, network, uh, I mean, 200, I, I mean, 2000 host using class C. That could be a, this is a valid question, yeah. Of course, it's also a valid question. In, in the in that mean, it in this case, ah, uh, what, what is the network like? Uh, network cannot be using the first three part because is a portion of a Third octet, few uh, octet is uh, using uh, for a host. Then uh, uh, this is it. I will tell you the answer. Not now. So we have uh, some calculation for that. I'll tell you definitely. We'll finish okay. up this. Then quickly we'll go to that. So then okay. we'll uh, close the session today. Yeah, quickly we'll finish up this thousand IP, two thousand IP in class A. Any idea? Uh, we can do that. It's of so course, good. very good. Yeah, can you tell me your okay well you are trying so i don't know i need to to the power uh so... this is what is the value 128 okay if i take two to the power of eight what is the value 256 two to the power of nine five twelve exactly two to the power of ten hundred a thousand twenty four very good so now i need to do what a thousand twenty four i can take yeah Yes, absolutely. Very simple. So initially, maybe it is tough, but uh, once if you good in this calculation, you know, it is very, very simple. Yeah. This is the subnet mask. Uh, what is the slash value then? 255. 22. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Absolutely right. 22. Okay. Then, uh, I mean, the next one, then 21. I mean, uh... For 2000. See, very simple. You made it very simple. It is slash 21 for 2000 IPs. In case if it is a 3000? Uh, slash 20. 20. In case if it is a 10,000 IPs? 
10,000 will be 20, will be until 4,000. Uh, 19 will be 8,000. 10,000. Very good. 18. Exactly. So, this was the calculation. Now, it is very simple. Huh? Previously, it was very difficult. Musad Dek Bhai, clear with you. Yes. 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 It is Jokonolo, Apna, Jamon, fast octet maximum two fifty four IP create cottaver, which and Jokon of last eight octet. Jokon Apna, a air busy IP dorkar, host dorkar. Tokon Apna Ketar Ager octet take a darnito hobe. It depends Korbe, Monacar and as a two to the power to the Amra ten eight and let thousand IP create cottaver. So thousand IP two to the power ten means after last octet eight uh, eight zero one I mean our our agar agar octet theke duita nevo. Hmm. Eight are the calculation. Okay. Last octet. Uh, last eight and from the, the before last is I'm gonna take two. Which yeah. I mean. এখন এটা কেন আপনার আমরা যখন এই 1000 আইপি ক্রিয়েট করব এটা সাবনেট মাস 22 কেন হলো কারণ হলো আমাদের সব সময় সাবনেট মাস হিসাব করবেন 32 থেকে হ্যাঁ 32 থেকে আপনি এখানে এই যে বাদ গেল 10টা কারণ 10টা অক্টেট হোস্ট হিসেবে ইউজ হচ্ছে তো 10 থেকে 10টা বাদ দিলে so, is it good? We'll take some scenario to it, okay? okay? Now, you asked me one question, right, in class C. 68. Okay, I'll take example of 10.0. Okay. So, subnet mask is default, subnet mask is 255, 255, 255.0. So, how many IP you will get in the class C? If you go so with 54. this. Only? <laughs> 255 so network and okay. broadcast if you leave only you'll get 54 ips yeah this is the max right mm -hmm. now i have a scenario what you asked i want thousand ips i have a thousand system in my network and right? i want to use a c type uh, i want class c only i don't want class b or i don't want class a i want class mm -hmm. c only is it possible now, if you use the subnet mask, is it possible? Can you use 1000 IPs? No. Not possible. It is also possible. There is a option of CIDR. So using the CIDR, it is also possible. What is the meaning of CIDR? Uh, classless inter-domain routing. Okay. Yes. Okay, what is the total power for 1000 IP? Just know we have done the calculation. 10, 10. 2 to the power of 10, it is 2024. Now I'll write the two 10 zeros. Simple. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So now do the calculation. 255.255. What is the value here? Third octet. We are doing the changes in third Six. octet. Uh, 248. Uh, the I'll tell you, Ahmad, I'll tell you very simple way of calculation. Okay, what is the last octet here? 252. Okay. Last octet. 252? Yeah. Sure, huh? Yeah. 252. So, how to identify the block size? Very simple. Three. See, how many ones we had? I mean, I mean four, right? Four, four, six ones, right? Six ones. Yeah. Six ones. For this six ones, the last one, what is the value? Is four, right? Four. Your block mm -hmm. size is four. Very simple. Block size is four. You, if you want, you calculate two fifty six minus 
252 log sis is 4 you don't need to do this calculation also check it out the last octet last octet value is 4 right that is the block sis if you keep on if you do this if you practice you will come to know very easier method okay what is the slash value then slash value 22 16 yes 22 absolutely right okay this comes 16 plus 6 22 yeah what yeah. is good okay now quickly we'll go to the practically uh, practically we'll see this okay now share the screen amad Okay. Am I boring, guys? No, no, you could. No. Okay. Can you see my screen? Yeah, I can see the screen. First, you are saying class C IP. We took uh, the example one eighty two one sixty eight ten dot. Are saying one. Plus C. Yes, one ninety two one sixty eight. Ten dot one. Assign the default subnet mask. Just click on that. Give OK. Just give OK. The default the other one. Not required. See, it is accepting. Yeah. Till in the last last octet, you change to two fifty four. Okay, give okay. It is also accepting. Yes. Now, uh, it out of uh, the nine ninety nine ninety nine. You can't do not apart from two fifty six. You can't assign any. That no, means if I just need to go to the like uh, no, more no. than the two fifty four. Now how the calculation is? I didn't. I forgot to share that. Just I'll share the screen. I'll tell you. You want me to stop? See in this scenario, how the IP is. Okay, I'll do the small changes. I don't want to confuse you. I'll just go with zero, zero dot zero. Okay. Now, where is the changes in subnet mask? Third octet, we have a changes. Right. So, what is the block size here? What is the block size? We said four. Block size is four. Mm -hmm. So one ninety two, one sixty eight. Ten dot okay sorry zero. It is zero dot zero. Then IP will end with one eighty two one sixty eight four octet. So next network if you take it will be a four. So three dot two fifty five. This a this this is for one network. So you will get calculate here somewhere you will get zero dot two fifty five. Again one dot zero it will start one dot two fifty five. Again, uh, two dot zero it will start. Two dot two fifty five. Again, three dot zero it will start. So calculate, you will get thousand twenty four IPs. See what I want here. In, in this case, uh, I mean, uh, then then it goes to different network. I mean, uh, multiple network. Yes. It's, yeah, uh, of course. See what I want you to do is try to assign this IP. Okay. Try to assign this IP. See the error. Try to assign this IP. See the error. So we'll start from zero. Ahmed, try to assign zero dot two fifty five. Again, try to assign one dot zero, one dot two fifty five, two dot zero, two dot. One dot zero will not check, right? Ah, uh, that is what you try to assign. We'll see the error. Then we'll come back with this subnet mask. Then we'll do the changes. So we'll see the changes. Okay. 
now you share the screen okay Uh, we'll go with zero dot zero. Yes, zero dot one. Zero dot one. Okay, zero dot twenty-five. One, it will take. You okay? It will take. No problem. Try it again. Two fifty-five. You okay? See, throwing the error. The two fifty-five. Any any network host will not take two. Ah, uh, exactly. Now make it as one dot zero. Not take. Yes, absolutely. So all the bit is zero. You can't assign. Okay. Again, one dot two fifty five. See. Oh, no. Again, we'll check two dot zero. Will also not accept because the subnet mass. Right. See this. Now the same thing will do. What will change the subnet mask? Change the subnet mask. What do what uh, what is our subnet mask? Two fifty three. Two fifty three. No, check that subnet mask. Two fifty two. Two fifty two. Okay. Two fifty two. I think the two fifty two. Absolutely. Oh, Six. this one is taking. Ah, uh, take it. We'll go with zero dot two fifty five. Zero dot two fifty five. Previously, it was throwing the error. No, no, zero. You can't because network uh -huh. IP. Two fifty five. This will check, right? Yes. Okay. See this. So in this case, like, uh, what will be the um uh, broadcast address? Broadcast is you try to as in see three dot two fifty five. It will not accept three dot two fifty five. See this. This is the broadcast IP for the subnet mask. Uh, so I mean, uh, this is a uh, because of a uh, set. To... Because of subnet mask, you have done the subnet mask. There's a slash. How much? Twenty two, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. Slash twenty two subnet mask. That's what. Slash twenty two. It will accept till three dot two fifty four. Got it. Okay. Yeah. But it is also possible from the class C, you can assign up to uh, 1,000 or 2,000 or 10,000 IPs. So only thing is the subnet must have to change. Hmm. That means here is a possible like uh, three times uh, 256, almost 1,000. Ah, exactly, 1,024. Okay, anyway, I'm good. Okay, just do the assignment. You try to do for 2000 IP address, 8000 IP, or we make it as 10,000 IP, 5000 IP, and 10,000 IP in the class C using class C. Okay, Mohammed, uh, Ahmed, mm -hmm. this is your assignment today. So, class C network, we have seen 10,000. So, so, I want we, we the just answer. Write... We just write fast network. Yeah, I want the block size subnet mask slash value. Okay, for 2000 IP, 5000 IP, and 10,000 IP. So, this block is 